A wife recently wrote into Slate's Karen Feeding advice column to complain about her husband giving their 16-year-old daughter weed for her birthday. I'm going to say that one more time. <laughs> he gave her daughter weed for her 16th birthday. The wife said that even though weed is legal in their state that and that her husband smokes all the time, she still thinks it's an inappropriate gift to be giving a teenager. Ladies, who do you think is in the right here? The father for giving well, his daughter weed. It's illegal for children. So I think it's 18 and up that... Yeah. So 16 is, you know, yeah. illegal. So I just wanted... What that. is this sure. message? What is this message? Why would he buy her weed? Why would he buy her weed without talking to the mother? Like... This is insane to me. Like, what's the message? There's so much. I want to talk to him. I wish he was here because I want to know. I think the first you violation know, was that he did it without talking to his wife. That's jacked up. You well, yeah. You cannot make that the same type of time, decision though, without making a partner agreement on that. That's crazy. It is no. crazy. But you know there's some houses, there's some parents that are the party house. You know, I want my kids to be able to bring their friends and hang out because then you get to know really who their friends are, what they're doing. But to supply weed to your daughter, like, it's insane to me. Why do you feel the need to be smoking weed at 16? Because most of the time, most, not all, but most of the time, people do drugs because they want to get away from reality. It, and most of the time, some of the times, it's not a good thing. And so I would first check in, like, why do you feel the need to smoke? What is the purpose? What is it that's not great for you just in a normal setting that you have to actually go in and, and intoxicate yourself with something like that? So I would first dig deeper because now you're just feeding into a habit and you may not be getting rid of whatever other issues there are. And that can be the gateway to other drugs. But also, well, this I is not a habit that she formed herself. Well, I, but she might be doing it because she sees her friends doing it. And so she wants to be cool. Or, and be and her, her father. Look, he needs to let help her, like, study her fractions. Study your right. fractions, kids. Stop and get you a protractor. Learn how to use a protractor instead of rolling them joints at that reefer. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say reefer? <laughs> Yes, I'm I'm with Lonnie. Lonnie, I can't with you. Listen, this is crazy to me. I remember going on a trip and then coming back home and finding out my kids had Instagram. And I went nuts because I thought it was something that we should talk about as a parent, you know, as parents. Like, that's a big decision for them to be on social yeah, media. Yeah, it is. Luckily, they're not really into Instagram and that stuff yet. But you can't be passing out weed but, to your kids. And, yeah, but like, some people crazy. feel like, some parents feel that they feel like they, they would rather their kids do it in their house under their supervision yes. instead what? of doing it outside. So maybe that's what he was thinking, that, like, I could As show her As a birthday gift? Like, yay, yeah. this is the grand prize. It's weed. Yeah, there's a lot of that parents is, like right. that. A lot. Insane It's a lot of me. parents. There's a lot that's of parents. Yes, like there are a lot crazy. of parents. That's why and they want to have the party house, like I said earlier. They want, you know, to be the house where all the kids I would can never. come and drink a little bit and smoke a but little that's bit. that's why it's crazy. Yeah. But that's why it's important to go back to communication because besides finding out the, um, the reasons, even if it's peer pressure, sometimes when you just have a deeper question, like, do you really need to be doing everything they're doing? And just pick out a few things that the friends are doing, what they're wearing. Are you wearing what they're wearing? Are you having to go and date that person or whatever it is? There usually right. is another reason. But if they're not open to sharing that, then you got to talk about the facts that a lot of people now, they prey on kids who don't know what to buy. So they're going to lace their THC with things that could be permanently damaging or brain damaging. And you should actually talk about where are you buying these things from? You can't trust these people on on the streets because these people are looking for people like you who are naive to buy whatever they want and to jack you up in ways that could be permanent damage. So the conversation itself is so much more important than whether or not you buy them a gift. But like the, the, first the, find the out point, why they're smoking. I, I agree with you, Jeannie, but the point is as long as the parent is gonna do it, then evidently they think right. it's okay for their child to do it. I guess the question right. is, is champagne different than weed? Would you do that? I mean, there's yes. so many questions. There's so you know. many different you questions. You think it's That's different? Right. Yeah. I, um, no, no, I think no, I'm agreeing with you. No, I don't think it's different. I think every I think one every is body acceptable. is affected differently, though. Everybody's affected differently. You know what I mean? Correct. We can't, okay. like, some people get affected by champagne way differently than THC. So, like, 
Correct. Either and way, some people what, what, can't what smoke weed because they think they're dying. Hi, me. So because of my <laughs> terrible experiences, just all honesty, I would not want my child to go through that. I don't want them thinking they can't swallow, they can't breathe, their heart is racing fast, they're going to die. I don't want my kids to experience that. So I personally would say absolutely no to all of this. And crazy enough, I would not encourage my children to drink either. Like, I just wouldn't. Right. Right. Learn I your think, fractions. You know what, are they going to try it? They'll probably try it, but I don't want them trying it with me. I'm not going to be the one supplying it. I always say to my friends, uh, my kids, actually, I say, you know, if somebody jumps off a roof, are you going to jump off a roof too? And they're like, Mom, no one's going to jump off a roof. Like, <laughs> like what are you talking about?